It's that time of year, the time to get spooky, and this is the perfect review to kick off October, seeing that it involves possession and a death goddess. Kitty Cats is a British action comedy fantasy action animated series created by Ed Bicknell and produced by ITV Studios and Kids Cave Entertainment and released on Netflix on May 18, 2023. After the gem of Anubia is stolen, three teenage girls are given the power to transform into feline guardians to fight evil and return the gem. They can also turn into normal cats, with RGB color of course. The show is story driven and fairly engaging. I also like how the show has real world consequences. For example, there was an episode where the soccer field got completely demolished and it impacted the rest of the story. The show also takes notes from Miraculous and Jade Armor on purifying things. In this case, it's spirit cats. However, at times, the writing feels off. Like Anubia's gem is stolen so easily by a high school girl and this restricted part of the museum has very little security. Also, my suspension of disbelief was stretched as the girls are the only ones in town with RGB colored hair in human and cat form. And no one made the connection. I am probably looking too deep in the, the things. Anyway, let's talk about the cast. Tabitha Berman, also known as Tabs for short, voiced by Brianna Price, is the new girl from a small town who moves into the big city. Hi, I'm Tabitha, the new girl. Glad to meet you. Oh. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Tabitha, the girl new, I mean, the, the new girl. Um, glad to meet you. She transforms into Ruby Kitty and has a light, bubbly personality. In her kitty form, she acts first and thinks later. Also, she is likely Jewish, as her first and last names have Jewish origins. She befriends Shakia and Azami. Shakia, who goes by Kia for short, voiced by Siobhan Marks, is a straight-A student and the mature one of the group. She transforms into Emerald Kitty. In her kitty form, she's the most reluctant, not used to jumping into action before thinking. Azami Aito, who goes by Zami for short, voiced by Amy Ukamara Jones, is outgoing and eccentric. She is an oddball who doesn't care what others think of her, as she is busy engaging in hobbies, which she frequently changes, and is a bit of a tech nerd. She transforms into Sapphire Kitty and is the most easily scared of the group. Other characters include Luba Berman, voiced by Larissa Murray, Tabitha Zant in the school soccer team coach, Mr. O'Keefe, voiced by Connor Malone, a teacher who is secretly a member of DOG, an elite group of spies speaking to find Anubia's gemstone, Phoebe Olorio, voiced by Maria Lewis. Then there's Charity, voiced by Amrita Akari, who you might recognize as Irie in Game of Thrones. Charity is the mean girl of the school and steals Anubia gem. As a result, she gets possessed by Anubia, also voiced by Amrita Akaria, the show's villain. Trudy is perhaps the most interesting character in the show, as she gets possessed when she decides she's done being a mean girl and changes her ways. Under Anubia's influence, she reverts to her old self, making it difficult for anyone to realize she is in trouble. Right now, I need to learn what that teacher of yours, Mr. O'Keefe, knows. About history? No! I already know about history. I... And history. I wish you were history. Are you talking to me? No. Don't you hear her? I'm possessed by a demon. Possessed by a demon? Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> the YouTuber Jesse Golo made a great video discussing this, which I recommend watching. Anubia seeks revenge for her brother Anubis overshadowing her. So yes, everyone talks about those Egyptian gods, Ra and Anubis, but no one ever talks about Anubis's sister, the goddess Anubia, or Ra's sister. Well, yes, but that's because those were only minor goddesses. Minor? Ha! That's what their brothers wanted everyone to believe, because they were jealous of their sister's power. And just like typical males, they stole the spotlight. I should note that while Anubis was the god of death in Egyptian mythology, he was not considered evil. He merely ensured that souls moved on to the afterlife. Also, before anyone mentions Osiris, he was more of the Hades equivalent from Greek mythology. Nevertheless, 
I can understand Anubia's motivations for not receiving the credit she deserves. There is also a trio of demon dogs dressed as bikers who serve Anubia and the Cat Council, as the name suggests, compromises of cats that serve as allies to the kitty cats. The animation in the show is of decent quality, with well-defined character designs that stand out with vibrant and colorful actions. However, according to the wiki, the show has quite a few animation errors. But hey, animation errors in movies and shows are not uncommon. Despite its issues, I see merit in Kitty Cats and what it may offer later on. On my rain scale, I'm going to give season one of Kitty Cats three stars. So that's my review of Kitty Cats. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you.